Hello, my loves. Welcome to your October love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is happy, safe, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you're new to the channel, I do have a Cancerian-only channel. Um, the link is below. It's called Cancer Baby Tarot if you would like to join the Cancer Baby family. Um, I want to give a special shout out to uh, Barbara at Quartz Rose Tarot and Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot and Jail. They are amazing readers. If you want to check them out, they are in the description box below. Okay. Oop. All right, guys, let's get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Cancers, please. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Cancers, please, Holy Spirit. All right, my loves. So um, if you haven't yet sub subscribed, be sure to do so. I do choose winners every single week for tarot cards, readings, oracle cards, Palo Santo, Sage, Jewelry, Runes. Um, Bibles, books, I mean, you name it, it's a huge giveaway every week. Um, so in the description box below, you'll see the instructions, okay? I also do a $250 giveaway every single month. You do not need to enter a giveaway for that. I just go to the comments and look for the comments at hand. So today we're using the <laughs> a dark deck because it's Halloween here in the United States for who anyone, for anyone that is uh, outside of the United States. So we've got Halloween in October. So we're using a spooky black deck here. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started here. So <clears throat> the energy that I picked up from for you guys, um, I feel, I feel like we've got someone coming in in October. That's confused, man. Someone is coming in thinking that they can manifest a, a forgiveness from you. They think that they can manifest forgiveness from you. And I feel like this person is, you know, about to pay their karma because this person really screwed up in the past cancer. This person really screwed up in the past. And I feel like, you know, this person wants to come in and talk to you, but you're like, really? You know what I'm saying? Do you not remember what you just did to me? Um, so let's see what we have going on here. Let's see what we have going on here in the tarot. So we have the six of cups, the X <laughs> first card out. Yeah. So we've got an X coming in guys. We've got someone from the past coming in uh, with the three of pentacles. I feel like somebody here wants to try to work something out with you, Cancer. I feel like they're, you know, they want to come in. They're like, now maybe I've thought about it. I want to settle down now. Um, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They're coming towards you with a lot of love, a lot of romance. You know what I'm saying? A lot of mushy gushy gooey stuff. Um, four of uh, pentacles here. Whatever they were holding back before, I feel like they're moving forward with it now. Um, and not only that, but I feel like you're not really wanting to receive that. You know what I'm saying? You're not really wanting this from them. Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Um, this person is coming in to communicate, Cancer. Uh, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So there you are. Even if you still have feelings for this person, Cancer, even if you still feel a little tinge of something, something, you are not about to show it. You're not really, I don't really feel like you want to give this person anything. With the Sun card here, I feel like this person wants attention. I feel like they want to be seen by you. I feel like they want to speak their truth. Um, yeah, the star, Aquarian energy. This person has a lot of hope, Cancer. This person has a lot of hope and a lot of faith that they can heal this. They want a second chance. Judgment, okay? Sagittarian energy. This person definitely wants a second chance. Um, with the high priestess here, I feel like um, I'm not sure if this person's up to, if they're coming back for the right reasons. It seems like this person still has... Um, a lot of secrets, a lot of things they're not they're not telling you about. I feel like this cycle has closed and it's closed for a reason with that world card. Um, this person maybe doesn't want to focus on those reasons. <laughs> I'm sure they don't. Um, we've got the five of cups here. Yeah, they, they don't want to focus on those reasons, but they do regret them. They do know those reasons are their cancer. This person uh, does regret what they did. I don't know if they're coming back for, with the right reasons, okay, but they definitely regret what they did. We've got the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So someone here maybe took a while to come back. Like maybe you haven't heard from this person for a minute, um, but they're coming back with something solid here. Six of Pentacles, or it appears that they're coming back with something solid. Um, I feel like they're coming back saying that they want to that they want to balance out the scales here. Um, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You're not trusting it, Cancer. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Death card, scorpionic energy. I feel like you have, uh, 
Your feelings for this person have changed. You don't see them the same way. Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer this beginning. They want to offer this new, yeah, Nine of Cups. They're offering you your wish fulfillment. So whatever you wanted from this person in the past, whatever you were looking for from this person in the past, they're coming in telling you that they're ready to give it to you now, okay? Like if you wanted commitment, marriage, whatever it is that you wanted, they're rushing in now. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, the Knight of Swords. They're rushing in wanting to offer that to you, Cancer. Um, we got the devil though that's 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 the devil okay capricorn energy i don't know this person may come in really quick i mean they're coming in a little too quick they're coming in a little too quick you know what i'm saying a little too fast yeah eight of wands this person is rushing towards you i don't know why like i don't know i, I get this underlining feeling that something is up with this person why is this person we've got the nine of pentacles so cancer here you are okay here you are pre empress single looking good feeling good um for some of you you may be financially well off and it's just interesting that oh man i was gonna say it's interesting that right when i ask why they're coming back you know the nine of pentacles comes out and here we go five of pentacles this person is broke cancer okay so now, for some of you, it may be a, fi a, a, a monetary type of broke. They may be actually like broke financially and coming to you to take care of them. For others of you, it could just be that you provided something like a roof over their head or a car for them to get to work. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we may feel like you may tell me, hey, but Gina, I don't really have anything. Believe it or not, if you've got a broken down 2001 Toyota that gets you to work and you're letting this person borrow it, then hey, you know what I'm saying? That's something, right? You know what I'm saying? If you're living in a studio apartment and you get you know what I'm saying? And there's a roof over your head and they're homeless or they, they need a place to stay. That's something, right? So this person is, they're lacking and you're abundant and they're coming towards you. Seven of Cups. It's an illusion. Whatever, whatever they're coming forward and telling you, you know, I want this, I want to be stable, whatever, whatever promises they're giving you about wish fulfillment, the Empress here about committing, starting a life together, getting married, having kids, whatever, um, you know, it's an illusion. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this person is saying that they want it all with you. They're saying that they want uh, you to be their wife, their husband. They want to build a life with you. But I feel that this person wants to start this new beginning because of finances more than anything else in the world. Because you're abundant. We have the Six of Wands. You see what I'm saying? You're successful and they want to share in that success. Two of Pentacles. This person, this person's finances are up and down. We have the Six of Swords here under the deck and the king of swords now this person may have cut you out walked away from you not even have given a crap you know what i'm saying and now all of a sudden they're back with you know what i'm saying like i don't know man i don't know spirit tell me what final outcome we have here what's the final outcome of this the emperor aries taurus energy so we've got the emperor and the empress on the board okay we've got the king of wands leo sag aries energy the Hermit, Virgo Energy. The Seven of Swords. You see, this person is presenting themselves, okay? You're coming up here as pre-empress, right? You're coming up here as pre-empress. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, okay? You're coming up as pre-empress. This person is telling you, I want to make you an empress. I don't want you to be single. I want you to be mine. This person is coming and saying, I'm your emperor to your empress. I'm your divine counterpart. I'm your soulmate. We're meant to be together. But behind the scenes, this person is a king of wands. And not just any king of wands, a king of wands that behind your back with that hermit card when you're not watching when you're not around seven of swords this person is cheating lying being deceptive being sneaky yeah no that's like well, when the cat's away the mice play type of thing eight of pentacles mm -mm. three of wands yeah this person is coming in and putting in the work because they're looking for something cancer this person is looking for something. And here we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, the Eight of Swords. And I, okay, two things here. Number one, 
I feel like you know something's not quite right here, Cancer. You know it. You know something's not quite right with that Eight of Swords. Now, this person may also be in a mental prison because they know what they had. They messed it up and they left. And they it, it, this came apart because they don't deserve you. Do you understand what I'm saying, Cancer? It came apart because this cycle was meant to end because they are not for you. But this person wants the benefit of being with you without having to do anything to actually like without loving you without committing to you you know without putting any work in whatsoever and they're stuck on the fact that they want what you have but they just have to kind of play a role to get it two of swords and the lovers card okay this person has someone else on the side like this person may literally have someone else on the side to the point where they're actually in another relationship telling their partner listen i'm broke or whatever i need to be with this person due to financial reasons i'm sorry if you want to be with me fine if not i got to go be with uh, cancer because I, I you know i need a place to stay or i need this or i need that that's the level that we're at here Okay, that's the level that we're at here with this person. Um, what do I want to use to clarify? Let's do, let's do this. So let's see what we have going on. Spirit, tell me about this Six of Cups, please. Tell me about this Six of Cups, please. The Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this X is coming back for the Monday the Three of Pentacles and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, the Knight of Cups to the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. So this person is coming in wanting to work on this connection. They're coming towards you. They're coming towards you as the Knight of Cups, love, romance, and all that other crap, when really they're the Knight of Wands. They're, they're player mode, okay? Four of Pentacles and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. They're coming in telling you, I'm not a player no more. I don't have anyone else on the side. I choose you and only you. The Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles telling you that they want to do right by you, that they want to do the right thing. King of Cups and the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. You're not falling for it, Cancer. You're just going to wait. You're not answering. You're not saying yes. You're not saying no because you want to see if this person's telling the truth. The Sun card and the Justice card, Libra Energy. I... I feel that you're also aware, Cancer, that this is this person's karma. I knew one day you were going to come back around and this was going to happen. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. But I'm not going to... I don't think that this is going to... Eight of Pentacles and the Star. This person has hope that you guys can work it out. The Judgment card and the Queen of Wands. Leo Sag, Aries Energy. So I feel what's happening here is this person wants a second chance after they went off with the Queen of Wands with a third party. That's what happened, okay? This person wants a second chance after they left you for someone else. The High Priestess and the Six of Swords. This person thought that it was a secret as to why they walked away from you. Nope, it was no secret. The Sun card and the world. You know exactly why this ended. You know the truth that there was someone else in the picture, okay? Five of Cups and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. They are apologizing. They're regretful. Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. It's interesting that whereas before they were so slow to commit now they're so fast to say all these things six of of uh, pentacles and the three of cups they'll say and do just about anything to reconcile here cancer just about anything to reconcile queen of swords and the two of pentacles you're not buying it you're not buying it. The death card and temperance. Your feelings have changed. You've healed here. You just don't want to deal with it. Ace of pentacles on top of the ace of pentacles. This person is laying it on thick, Cancer. Thick. Nine of cups and the six of wands. Name it and you got it, baby. Whatever you want, I'm going to make it happen for you. This person will do anything to win you back. Anything. They'll say and promise anything. Knight of swords and the three of pentacles. They are overly eager eager to work on this connection. The devil card and the star, Aquarian energy. This person is obsessively wanting to heal this situation. Obsessively. Eight of wands and the nine of cups. This person cannot stop promising you stuff and they can't stop complimenting you. They can't, I mean, this person just can't stop. It's like over the top. Nine of pentacles and the empress, baby. There you are. You, you are, listen, this person, you are so much more worth more than this person. Five of Pentacles and the Emperor. You see, you're, okay, let me just show you. 
you are an empress and behind your empress mode you're pre-empress which means that with or without somebody you're still a freaking empress single or taken you still got that value right this person comes off as an emperor and behind this emperor is a five of pentacles it's an overdrawn banking account <laughs> an overdrawn banking account that's what this dude's got you know what i'm saying and guys gender doesn't matter male female we don't read energy uh, gender here we read energy okay so either way this person is coming in with less than lacking do you understand tell me about the seven of cups and the eight of swords and the eight of swords this person is it's all an illusion this person will say or do or or just confuse the situation they're they're trying to get in your head do you understand what i'm saying they're trying to manipulate and get in your head look the empress and the seven of cups again they're trying to make you confused they're trying to you know make you see like smoke and mirrors they want you to see the vision that they want you to see ten of pentacles and the ace of wands we're gonna go we're gonna to have this new beginning we're going to have a happy life six of wands and the six of cups they're going to make it look like they are the best option in the world this x wants victory okay two of pentacles and the strength card leo energy you just you feel like you should hold back but you don't know you just don't know here so here we have this emperor and the four of cups i feel like this emperor is going to start to feel rejected because you just they're not cracking you they're not cracking you. King of Wands and the Three of Wands. This king, see, they're coming off as this emperor, right? They're coming off as this emperor, but underneath it, it's the King of Wands. I'm feeling it should be in the reverse. This King of Wands energy is passionate about getting you back because with that Three of Wands, they need something. Do you see what I'm saying? They need something. With the Hermit and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, I feel like when they lost you, they lost um, they lost money. They lost finances. And with the Seven of Swords here, I feel like they went off to a new beginning. They went off to start a new beginning in love. Okay, but it didn't work because money wasn't there. Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. I feel like this third party um, started getting really pissed because maybe your person doesn't work. Maybe they don't bring home money. Maybe they don't do anything for the connection. Three of Wands and the Five of Wands. So you see, this person has to come in and fight. I feel like I feel like with the new person that this person went off with, because this person didn't have, because they're in a Five of Pentacles mode, they ended up breaking up three of wands and the five of wands so this this emperor left you cheated on you went to go to this new person this new queen of wands and this queen of wands this queen of swords cut them off cut them off because they they are expected to do all the work this emperor you know you put in all the work with this emperor you catered to everything you did everything for this person and you do you did it with all the love in your heart this queen a queen of swords and a queen of wands is not going to work while you sit on the couch like, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. Um, and, you know, with the three of wands and the five of wands, I think they both wanted different things and a fight broke out. Tell me about the eight of swords. Yeah, and now with the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, this person is coming in wanting to give that commitment. Now they're trying to get in your head. Um, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This person, this this wheel is turning with this person. This person is facing their karma. This is karmic justice right here. Karmic cycle has ended. Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're holding back from this person. Five of Pentacles, you're going to leave them out in the cold because with that Seven of Pentacles, you have not forget and forgotten what this person has done to you in the past you know the truth this person can talk and talk and talk but you know the truth of who they really are cancer and here we have karma okay karma this is the judgment card but i feel like the divine is making the final decision here and i feel that um you know you're blocking them because of karma you're blocking them and uh the, the divine is blocking them this is straight up karmic justice at its best Okay, I feel like this person left you for someone else. That man, that woman said, you know what, you're confused. You need to like, you know what I'm saying? Stop mooching off of me and do something with your life. And this person got stuck on stupid. And now they're crawling back to you because they're broke. <laughs> because they're, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's financially or whatever, they need a place to live. They need a car. I don't know. Okay. What do they call them? Scrubs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This person is a moocher. They like to, to, to parrot. There's like a parasite. Okay. All right, guys, I love you. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.